Hi, I'm Madison Wilson. And I'm Desiree Weber. And today we are going over mathematical practice seven, which is looking for and making use of structures. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to identify patterns and hopefully be familiar with finding patterns in any given problem to help find your solution. We are going to do some practice problems. And if you don't get it right away, just hold on tight and we'll show you how to do it. So in this section of the video, we are going to be dividing decimals by powers of 10. So when we divide by powers of 10, we are going to take the decimal point and move it over one time to the left. So the answer then becomes 465.24. And when you divide by the hundred, you're going to move it over two times to the left. So then you will have 46.524. And when you get down here to the thousands, you're going to move it over three times to the left. And you will have 4.6524. Notice how whenever we divide it by 10, there's one zero. So we move the decimal point over one time. When we divide it by 100, there are two zeros. So we move the decimal point over two times. And in the thousands, there are three zeros, so we move the decimal point over three times. Okay, so for this problem, we are going to show how dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying the number by what's in the denominator. So we're going to start with 60 divided by one half. So another way to look at this is setting it up as 60 times 2 over 1, which is the same as 60 times 2. So if you take 60 times 2, you get 120. Now we're going to try this again, but we'll try it with 80. So if we take 80 divided by 1 half, and we flip the fraction to get 80, times 2 over 1, or 2, we get the answer of 160. Now, for the third example, we're going to try it with 150. So if we take 150 divided by 1 half, we flip the fraction, we get 150 times 2 over 1, we will get the answer of 300. Okay, I'm going to write a couple practice problems up here on the board. Would anyone like to come up and solve these problems? Brittany, why don't you come up here and solve it? So I moved the decimal two places to the left because of the two zeros in a hundred. So now the answer is three point five. Good job. And here is another practice problem that we're going to solve. Would anyone like to come up and solve this problem? Tyler, would you like to come up and solve this problem? Uh, yes, I would. <laughs> C, you divide by 10 and there's one zero, so you move this one to the left, which makes that 46.3. Good job, Tyler. Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to do two practice problems with our other concept. So, we're going to start with 20 divided by 1 half. Can I get a volunteer to come up and solve this one? Me. Okay, Jake. Okay, 
Okay, so what you taught us last week is that 20 or any whole number has an imaginary one under it. So if we're dividing it by one half, we can switch it around and we can multiply it by two over one and switch that fraction around. So that would make it 40 over one, which would be 40. Awesome job, thank you, Jake. Okay, so we're gonna try one more problem. So this time we're going to do 50 divided by one half. Can I get another volunteer to come up? Tyler? Hey, Mrs. Wilson. Of course. Here you go. You see, if it's dividing by a half, that actually means you can multiply and flip it. So 50 times two over one, there's an imaginary over one on that 50. So that means it equals 100 over one, which is also 100. Awesome, thank you Tyler. So today in class, we went over finding patterns in any given problem to get to your solution. So the first one we went over was dividing a decimal by powers of 10. We discussed how you move the decimal point over to the left, however many zeros follow the one. The other concept we hit was dividing by fractions. So we worked with whole numbers, dividing by one half and flipping that denominator to turn it into a multiplication problem. So now we're going to have an exit slip. And we are going to solve these two given problems, which is 263 divided by 10. And our other problem is going to be 160 divided by one half. And you have to turn this in to us before leaving the class. 